The limb-based health system consists of two blueprints, the actor component labeled AC underscore health system and the blueprint interface int underscore health system. All you have to do to add this gameplay system to your character is navigate to your character blueprint and add the component labeled AC health system. And then under your class settings, navigate to the interfaces and add the interface labeled int health system. After you've done those steps, you should have access to some of the functions and events that are exposed from the system, and you can use them freely inside of your character blueprint. So for example, I can implement this event here, and this one, for example, wound healed, is called whenever the system heals one of the character's wounds, and right here we'll return the limb index and the wound index, so you're free to do whatever you'd like with this. To add a new limb to the character, all you're going to do is click the health system component up here. And then under limbs, you can hit the plus button and this is going to add a new limb. And here you can set the name, the current health of the limb, so when the game starts how much health the limb is going to have, the maximum health the limb can have, whether it's vital or not. If this is set to true, then that means when this limb reaches zero health, the event character killed will be called. And then the bone state which can be normal, fractured, broken, or boneless. So for example, if you had someone's, a character's head, maybe for example, and you don't want it to have a bone, you can select boneless. That way none of the uh, bone events will be called or anything like that. Uh, under wounds, if you want to start the character with any wounds, you can add them here, and you just need to input the limb index and the bleed rate. And then the bones that are going to count as this limb. So for this, based off of the character that you have, their skeletal mesh, you'll want to add their bones here. So for example, if I go to my mesh here, and I go to the skeleton, and then the skeleton tree, I'll see all of the bones here. So if I wanted a bone that was for spine 3, all I would do is come to the character, and go back to this health system, and let's just label this test limb, and we will set one of those bones to spine underscore 03. And now that limb is tied to that bone there. So when that bone is hit, it would come back as this limb. If you would like to use the debug widget that comes with the system, you'll just need to create one function inside of your player character that is off of the begin play event. And it's going to be similar to this here. So all you're going to do is create the debug widget, which is called W Health System and then you can add it to the viewport and all you'll have to do is call from that widget to initialize the character reference which is going to be self and then under the health system just set the widget reference to that widget that you created back here and as long as this is attached to begin play your widget should be receiving all of the information that it needs from the health system so once you followed all these steps you should have successfully implemented the system and here on this demo level that I created, you can test everything. So for example, right here you can test to see if the character takes damage. And you can see that represented on the left. So those limbs took some damage and some of the bones also broke. And right here we can heal them back up on these characters. And then to heal the bones, we can just come over here. And what these will do is heal those bones. And the last thing we can do is create wounds. So if we run over here, you'll see that we create some wounds with different bleed values and like before these ones over here will stop those bleeding or those wounds sorry and then you can come back and heal those limbs and also if you would like uh, if you're not using the widget you can also pull up this debug mode I have it bound to Z in the project demo and uh, that will just show you all of the limbs in text form and you can even see Right there, it will add the wounds for you, and it will tell you the bone state and the health, etc. If you want to enable that debug mode on one of your own characters, all I did here was use this function from the health system called toggle debug mode, and I just bound it to Z in this case, but you could bind it to any key that you want. Everything within all of the blueprints included in the system are well commented and have very readable names. So if I just go to a random one here, for example, create wound, uh, you'll see that everything is commented another function, take damage by bone name. So everything is commented here and easy to follow. All of the variables have names that make sense. 
So if you wanted to modify this system in any way, it would be pretty simple to do. If you're having any other troubles or you want to know exactly how the system works, I also wrote up this documentation here, which will explain to you what the system is. It will explain what all of the blueprints are inside of it, including the debug widgets, and then information about all of the variables and all of the functions. So you can see what everything here does. And even at the bottom, we have the structures that are included in the system and then the implementation as well. So if you want a written form of how to implement this system, then you can have that right here. And it also includes migrating it to an existing project. So you don't have to create a new project to use the system. You can implement it into one that you're already using.